your car guy here 2007 GMC this is a Yukon uh, Denali but your Yukon or your Suburban your Tahoe's got to change the marker light on the driver's side so the bulb right down in here um, it is burnt out we've got to get it out you can get to the headlight without taking the whole headlight assembly out but you really can't get to that marker light very easily so what you got to do is take off this whole front bumper cover and it's really not that difficult so what you're going to do is you're going to have let me get you in the light here you're going to have a bolt here 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 and here up top in each fender well you're going to take out right there in the bottom another one right here at the top and then these two push clips that you'll just pull out uh, by prying underneath them get them loose do that on each side then underneath there are two 10 millimeter bolts <clears throat> that attach to these brackets right back here so you got one here and one on the other side right here get those out you'll need to unplug your fog lamps and you'll be able to pull this whole front bumper cover right off all right now that you have all your bolts out what you're going to need to do on each side is reach in here under the inner fender grab the end of this bumper and pull it out towards you and this is going to disconnect these locks right here and that'll allow the entire bumper cover to come forward and slide right out and off um, just remember you do have some harnesses for your fog lights right down in here simply push the clip on the top and you can disconnect your fog lights on each side now with the bumper cover removed we can remove the three screws or bolts that mount the headlight assembly so the one out here and the two on top and we can pull that assembly out once you remove your screws you can see there's a little tab here you'll just pull it out uh, get the headlight assembly out where you can work on it then you'll want to disconnect your wiring simply a matter of squeezing the clip unplugging it here and then this one down here the reason I'm disconnecting instead of just changing the bulbs right there is I don't want to put strain on that wiring and now I have access to change all of my bulbs in this case I only need to change this one in the corner just turn it about an eighth of a turn you can see that's just a push-in bulb it is yellow on this particular one. Uh, there may be some variations in the headlights where it uses a white bulb versus a yellow bulb. And that's just a matter of popping in the new bulb and putting it together. And honestly, this may sound intimidating, pulling the bumper cover and everything off, but really uh, you could be to this point in less than 10 minutes. Stick your new bulb in place. Just put the socket back into the light assembly. And remember, it's not much of a turn, just that little bit. It's locked in. Now we can go install our light assembly. We'll plug our wiring back in. Both our headlight and our marker light. With the light in and the bolts tight, it's time to test before we put the bumper cover back on. There you can see, even in this bright sun, that bulb is burning. So we're good. Now we can install our bumper. I've just set the bumper up on the front here and that gives me access to reach right down in, grab my wiring for my fog lamps and plug them in versus having to lay on the ground to do that. Uh, just making the job a little bit easier to do that while it's sitting up here. With the bumper cover slid back into place, you can take and just push in and lock the corner there just by pushing it in nice and smooth we'll install our six upper mounting bolts and then the two that are underneath and then just put back in your bolts and tabs um, push locks in your inner fender wells and you're done believe it or not this job really only takes 
15 to 20 minutes it looks more intimidating than it is you're gonna need just a few tools uh, very simple this is your car guy if you found this helpful please like and share the videos and help the channel grow